The last day and the resurrection. What is the last day the Lord Jesus often referred to in his teachings? It appears that this last day is connected to the resurrection of the saints. So we are talking about the last day and the resurrection on today's episode and we are starting right now. On this previous series of teaching titled The Day of the Lord, we pointed out that we are currently living in the day of man. And this day is coming to an end very soon. The day of the Lord ushers in judgments upon the earth. The last day of the day of men, however, is what we are talking about in this video. And this is the day before the day of the Lord. Before we get deep with this teaching, it is important to note that we are not talking about last days as in plural, but the last days. This is the single day which separates the day of man and the day of the Lord. I hope you get this. Someone might ask, was there such a reference in the Holy Scriptures about the last day? Well, this was the Lord's favorite subject. The last day and the resurrection. Apparently, the first century believers understood this message very well. Let us listen to these words of the Lord Jesus. John chapter 6 verse 39 and 40. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he has given me I should lose nothing, not even by death, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him at the last day. This scripture explained the whole message of the gospel. The Lord was saying, everyone who receives the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ and believes it will be given everlasting life, meaning he is born again. The second part of the verse tells us that if that person who has eternal life dies, he will be raised or resurrected at the last day. So this is talking about the resurrection of the saints. I'm sure you agree with Apostle Paul that this is comfort. He says even if that man or woman who has eternal life dies, he will raise him up at the last day. We therefore do not need to worry about those who can kill the body. Jesus will raise the Christians from the dead on the last day. On this last day, we can expect the resurrection of the saints to take place. If you have lost a loved one, who was born again, he or she will rise again and you will meet each other soon. Apostle Paul puts it in this way in 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. The saints will come back with the Lord when he comes back. Oh, that will be a great day. But before the saints come back from heaven, they must first be resurrected from the dead at the last day, together with those of us who will remain until rapture. That means there must be resurrection first before the coming of the Lord. This is the reason why Apostle Paul says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, the dead shall rise first on the last day. Now let us see something about this subject of the last day and the resurrection. As I said, it was the Lord's favorite subject. It is evident that the Lord Jesus often taught on the subject of, of on the resurrection at the last day. We know this to be true from the words of Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus. The disciples of the Lord and many other people had the same teachings. Let us read what Martha said to the Lord when he visited the funeral of brother Lazarus. John chapter 11 verse 21 to 24. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. 
Did you hear what Martha said? She definitely heard about the resurrection at the last day in one of the Lord's teaching. So, the last day and the resurrection was a well-known teaching. The disciples of the Lord were looking forward to that day, the last day to be raised again. But there were some people who didn't believe in the resurrection at the last day. Luke 20 verse 27 and 28. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees which deny that there is any resurrection. Think about it. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die, having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. These Sadducees absolutely denied the idea of resurrection. Resurrection was impossible to them because of the scripture they didn't even understand. This is what many do. They take one verse out of context and make it say something else. You can make any verse in the Bible to say what you want if you are not careful. This is why the Lord Jesus said, You err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Matthew 22 verse 29. So these Sadducees were making the same mistake. Let us continue with the story from verse 29. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children, and the second took her to wife and died childless, and the third took her to wife, and in like manner the seven also. And they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. I like that. How these Sadducees failed to see resurrection in the Old Testament when it was very clear, I can never understand. In Daniel, for example, it says, Daniel 12 verse 2, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Daniel is in the Old Testament and he talks about the resurrection of the dead. Why did they doubt resurrection after the book of Daniel spoke about it? Someone said, because the book of Daniel was sealed. Well, that may be true, but what about other Old Testament scriptures? Is there another scripture in the Old Testament that talks about the resurrection? Oh yes, we have. Isaiah 26 verse 9. Thy dead, thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. As you can see, scriptures are very clear on the subject of the resurrection of the dead. I said the Lord taught extensively on this subject. One day while teaching, he touched on the resurrection again and said, this is John 5 verse 28 through 29. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. How will this happen? He says the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. Let me use my mind to try to understand how this might be. When the Lord raised Lazarus from the dead, he called out his name and said, Lazarus, come out! So we can expect something similar to that. Maybe the Lord will say, Church or my body, come out from the grave. Either way, but his voice will be heard by the dead bodies. The ones that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Remember, these are dead. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an angel, and with the trump of God, 
and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Glory to God. The scriptures affirm that the dead will hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ and the trump of God. Not everyone will die. There will be a people who will live until rapture and resurrection at the last day. What does the word say about them? Again, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. If you look at verse 17 and verse 16 and verse 17 of Thessalonians 4, you come to a conclusion that resurrection and rapture happen the same day. There cannot be resurrection without rapture. This is because resurrection is for those who have died already in Jesus and rapture is for those who are alive at the sixth seal. The last day and the resurrection disprove the pre-trib rapture because this will happen at the last day, not seven years prior. But one thing for sure is that everyone who died in Jesus will rise again and those of us who will remain alive will be caught up together with them. Until next time, this is Bishop Judah with Prophecy for Today, dissolving doubts and explaining of hard sentences through the Word of God. Go!